88 Billy. Good morning, South Front Myers. I'm Rihanna. And I'm Rob. And, and welcome, welcome to Wake, Wake Up, Up Wolf Pack. Pack. Hey, Rob, what are we having for lunch today? Today for lunch, we are having chicken tenders, pepperoni cheese pizza, seasoned sweet potato fries, and fortune fruit cup. And unfortunately, there will be no silence for Rob today. It was a powerful Friday at South before we left for break. Some members of Lee Health were on our campus to talk to medical students about opportunities after high school. Many of our Wolf Pack med students graduate with certificates that allow them to start full time with Lee Health as soon as they leave South. Make sure you are taking advantage of all that Wolfpack has to offer to set yourself up for success. Are you looking for a way to get involved but can't find the right fit? Ben and Jazz explain what Mrs. Henderson Young has going on that can help boost your resume. Hey Ben, can you talk about Key Club? Yeah. <laughs> South Lamar's High School's Key Club provides students an opportunity to serve, build character, and develop leadership. Key Club members around the world are learning how to lead and stand for what's right through service and volunteerism. In partnership with the local Kiwanis Club, high school students are making a positive impact as they serve others in their schools and communities. Wow, where can I sign up? If you're interested in joining Key Club, please join Key Club's little classroom. The code is KQNKJYY. Or, for more information, you can go to see Miss Young in room 271. Tomorrow is the last day of November. That means it is the last day to submit a video for the Wolfpack Infinity Vision Fund. All you need to do is create a video answering the three questions listed on your screen and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Be sure to tap Fort Myers Infinity and be creative. You have a grant in your hand just time for the holiday season. The Medical Academy wasn't the only South Academy with a powerful Friday before break. Check out what the Plumbing Academy has going on. Proud principal here at South Fort Myers High School. I am here with Mr. Bross, our plumbing instructor, as well as Mr. Jason Wirt from RT Moore. And we are so, so honored right behind us. We have a truck full of supplies for our plumbing academy in which all of our students will learn what it takes to be a professional plumber here, not only in Fort Myers, but in Southwest Florida, as well as throughout the state of Florida. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Mr. Bross. Take it away, and then you and Jason sort of have a little conversation. All right, uh, Mr. Bross, plumbing instructor, South Fort Myers High School. Um, not only do we have the plumbers out here, we got the welders, we got the electricians, we got the masons. We even got JFG out here, um, just to show you when people come together what can happen. And uh, so all this material is for you guys. We can get your hands on it, get your hands dirty. And uh, like I said, we got the other uh, careers out here. So whether you want to be a welder, a plumber, a mason, whatever. Um, we're set up here to make that happen. Yeah, we just uh, appreciate the opportunity. Pulte called us. We were also working to partner with the local trade schools in order to support the trade. Uh, there's a lot of demand in the market for good quality talent. And we're just appreciative to be able to partner with you guys, supply you the equipment, material. We had a ton of trade partners, manufacturers, and distributors participate as well. So we just appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Brian Thompson. I run the uh, workforce development for RT Moore. It's the launch program. It's uh, part of hiring. It's part of uh, continuing education for all of our uh, plumbers that work for us. Um, we worked really hard with all of our trade partners. Um, we had some really awesome last minute donations from Home Depot and Milwaukee. Um, we have uh, pallets full of uh, plumbing fittings from inch and a half all the way up to three inch. We have thousands of feet of uh, pipe for you guys. We have thousands of feet of copper pipe, hundreds of feet of copper pipe uh, fittings, and uh, I mean bags and bags of, of tools, torch tips, uh, different types of hand tools, brand new, you know, everything was brand new, was brand new, worked perfectly, you know. Uh, we've got water heaters, uh, I mean anything that you need to be able to have a good plumbing uh, education program at your school. Um, that's awesome. We have, uh, yeah, uh, from uh, Pulte, 
uh, got us all together for this. Uh, we got in touch with State. We got in touch with Ferguson. Uh, we got in touch with Wool. Uh, we got in touch with Hydro. Uh, Charlotte Pike. Charlotte Pike. Moen. Moen. I mean, everybody been, participated. Yeah, I mean, it was a huge, a huge amount of participation. Uh, I just can't say thank you enough. Hey, real quick. Raise your hand if you think you might be interested in working for RT Moore. Raise your hand if you think you might be interested. Raise them high. Come on. Yeah, raise them high. What's your name? Uh, my name's Justin Wood. Okay. Um, how long have you been doing doing this job for? Oh my goodness, I've been doing this current job for just over five years now. Have you started doing this like during high school, like uh, like how we do in our program? Uh, no, I didn't start doing this uh, during high school. You could say that I um, had some kind of real life outside experience before I joined Pulte Group. And um, I've been with them for over 17 years now, but this current role that I'm in, I've been in for, for about five years now. So. Would you change your role for any other job? Uh, I love what I do. I, um, I get to work with three people every day. I get to help people. We're in the home building business, which is there's nothing more rewarding than delivering somebody a beautiful brand new home and getting a great big hug when they get to move in and close on their home. So, quite frankly, uh, me being with the company for over 17 years now, I think speaks for itself that I love what I do and I love the company that I work for. So, I'm going to change it. All right, and um, you just have a good day, okay? All right, thank you. That's, That's all we have, have for, for the news. news. Let's send it over to sports. sports. Sports Center, I'm Jacenia. Last to recap from over break. Let's start with the boys basketball team who got their season underway on Saturday with a 56 to 47 win over Golden Gate. The Wolfpack were led by Blake Maddox who dropped 28 points. Tomorrow's their home debut against Gulf Coast at 7.30. Let's pack the den for our boys hoop squad. Speaking of basketball teams, the girls squad is now 2-0 after they beat Ida Baker the night before break, 72 to 12. They now have a plus 123 point differential in two games. Great work, ladies. And last but not least, the boys' soccer game ended strong before break with a 5-1 win over Ida Baker. Dennis Elias scored two goals. Michael Viano had a goal with an assist. Dylan Cabrera and Nesta Morales also tacked on a goal each. Great work, soccer squad. They will be on the road at Eastleigh tomorrow. That's all we have for the news. Have a powerful Wolfpack day.